Google released the Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1 update, guys. And um, this one is a bit different than the others because this build contains some of the material tree and expressive changes that were shown to us on the Google uh, you know, event last week. So, of course, it's not the full deal, it's not everything so far, but there are some new tweaks to notifications, quick settings, the lock screen and the launcher guys. This is it. I got a friend who is already using it and he was really so nice to share this with me. So you can see a lot of the new stuff that was actually shown is already here. So you are now able to manipulate all the quick tiles and make them round or expand them to this pillar shape which is actually great and it's important to see what Samsung is going to do about it because if they introduce this is going to be a major change from the way it looks right now. So this thing is very good, there are really these nitty gritty things like haptic feedback every time you do those things of course you cannot experience it right now and myself um, as well because that's a recorded video. But every time you just press on a toggle, guys, there is a new animation in most of the cases and you're also able to rearrange everything. And what is also quite important, changes from this big pillar shape to a rounded shape, which is very, very nice. And of course, you get this nice haptic feedback in most of this time, specifically when you're trying to clear our notifications. This looks really great and it seems that with Android 16, guys, pay attention here, right? This is the new brightness bar and I kind of dig it because now it seems that you have a very nice visual indication on how much brightness you have right now and then you can just play with this around. You can also try to redesign your screen here as well. Take a look here guys, all right? Now flashlight, boom. You get a new fancy animation and this is how it looks like. Now, it's going to be interesting what Samsung is going to do in the context of One UI 8, guys, because I am already using One UI 8. This is the third beta. It's, I guess, not official. It's like a test, probably like an alpha version before Samsung, hopefully, this or next week starts a whole One UI 8 Android 16 build. But so far, I'm just thinking Samsung had one of the best looking you know, uh, quick tiles and etc. But it's going to be interesting to see how they are going to change it because there are really some things that we like from here, right? And you're not able to kind of redesign this. So apparently you can just rearrange things if you want to do so, right? Like, for example, you can move this around, but can you go here and make some of the shapes uh, different? We don't really know. And by the way, guys, as I'm digging inside One UI 8, there are some new things, new visual changes, which I really hope are driven by this new Android 16 thing. One is the gallery. When you click on the menu button, we get this very nice looking menu that is also semi-transparent. You can see the blur inside and it's kind of cool. And I found also something new. Uh, so we can click here guys and you enter a wallpaper and styles. The moment you click change wallpapers, boom, you're gonna get this very nice and fancy smooth animation. So this looks redesigned a bit. When you enter inside, it's gonna be still more of the same, but we have suggested images. This updated animation doesn't exist in One UI 7, so how do we go to here, wallpaper and style, chain wallpapers, boom. And now pay attention, guys. When you scroll down, there's gonna be two new dynamic wallpapers. So we have the colors wallpapers as well in One UI 7, but those are dynamic, and see what you can do, guys. The moment you go for this, it's gonna change the color for like blue, light blue, like light green on the home or on the lock screen and then we have another dynamic wallpaper and this is going to do the same so you see we have this blue and green hue and it's kind of moving you know what let me actually put this on my phone so that you can see how it looks this is the lock screen you can see very nice animation from the right expanding to the center of the screen boom and now i go inside and we have this new dynamic wallpaper. Is it changing? Right now I don't think it is changing so much, but ideally, yeah, it should. Now let's go and use that one. So I'm gonna press next here. All right, I'm gonna press down. See what happens now. All right, again. Yeah, uh, we changing the colors here from blue to green. I don't think so. Let's see what happens on the lock screen. Bit better. All right, probably still some work needed. Anyway, at least on the preview, you know, you can see that it worked. Let me show you. So when you go inside the preview, you're going to see that this thing is going to actually move. Now, uh, is this the situation on the real lock? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, you see? Okay, this is good, guys. One more time. All right. One more time. 
No, I think it worked. Actually, not that bad. So at the end, it's going to be quite interesting to see how much is Samsung going to be influenced by Google with this Express 3 material design. And it's also going to be interesting to see if they decide to take something and implement it, how they're going to deal with this. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you so much. Stay safe, VST over, and bye. Thank you.